Hi everybody, I'm Philip Van Dusen, and in this video I'm gonna to talk to you about personal branding with personal style. So here's an example, Elvis Presley with his trademark giant collar jumpsuit. It's almost a caricature, but whenever you see a jumpsuit like that, you think of Elvis Presley. That is personal branding with personal style, a perfect example. Personal style is about self-expression. It's about how you present yourself, and how you look, how you look visually, how you look physically, and how you present yourself verbally. So who you are times two. You wanna do some soul searching, find out that authentic aspect of yourself and amplify that, manifest that in what you do for your personal brand in your own personal style. Me, my heritage is Dutch. My family came to the United States in 1623, a long time ago. I'm also a painter, so I love the Dutch painter Franz Hals. Also, there's an amazing Flemish painter, Van Dyck, which is what this mustache and beard configuration is named after. I sport it because I like it. I like the handlebar mustache, and that's very authentic to me. It's authentic to my history, to my heritage, also to what I do and what I consider myself to be. So that little bit of personal style branding is perfect for me. You want to remember branding's three R's being recognized, being remembered, and being revered. Those are three really important things about branding. And being recognized is key in personal branding with personal style. By standing out from the crowd in some way, where, how you wear your hair, what you wear, how you present yourself, how you dress, that's how you're going to be recognized and therefore remembered. Two of the most important branding, three R's. And remember, in branding, different is better than better. We all have to offer great services, all have to offer great products and be of value. But being different and standing out from the crowd is also really important. So personal style branding can be one of those things that takes you above and beyond the rest. Doing it consistently is also the most important thing. So be careful about the choice you make because you're gonna have to do it for a long time because that kind of consistency is what people start to remember about you and therefore recognize you when they come across you either in content, photography, or in person. Now the great thing about being a designer is that you're given a lot of freedom for personal expression. People expect designers to be a little weird. So you have a lot of freedom to express yourself in a very unique way. So take advantage of that. And entrepreneurs, same thing. Entrepreneurs, you're always marketing yourself. So standing out from the crowd, being recognized so you can be remembered is one of the most important things about being an entrepreneur. So what are some of the things that you can do in personal style branding? Well, there are big things like cars and motorcycles and houses. Hugh Hefner always had four girls on his arm, so that was part of his personal style brand. He also always smoked a pipe and had a velvet dinner jacket on. There are things like tattoos. Tattoos are easy because they're incredibly consistent. Once you get one, they don't go away, like Mike Tyson's face tattoo, which whenever you saw him, it was on his face. You can't get past it. You always remember him because of it. Things like shoes, Michael Jordan's shoes that are ubiquitous for his brand. Things like accessories, Bill Nye's signature bow tie. Whenever you see that, you know it's Bill Nye. Things like hairstyles. Early in his career, Justin Bieber had that swoop over bang hairstyle that became an iconic hairstyle for his generation and easy to recognize him by. There are things like shirts. Roberto Blake, amazing YouTuber. If you don't follow him, you should. Great guy, always wears that create awesome t-shirt. Incredibly consistently, you can always know it's him when you see him. You can also use things like color. So Colonel Sanders always wore a white suit with a black string tie, and he had his white hair and his white beard, so it was easy to recognize Colonel Sanders. Things like glasses, Seth Godin always has these bright uh, yellow glasses. Also clothes, Tom Wolfe. Tom Wolfe's an amazing writer and he always wore a white suit his entire life. It was very easy to recognize him. He can use things like hats. So the rock guitarist for Guns N' Roses, Slash, always had that big top hat. You can wear things like a full outfit. So Angus Young, the guitarist for ACDC, always wore a schoolboy outfit, it's even when he got old. That's the thing he wore, and that's the way that you recognize that it was Angus Young. You can also be just extreme. So there are people like Lady Gaga or um, Nicki Minaj 
who wore just completely outrageous outfits regularly. And they were so outrageous that even though they were entirely different from each other and there was no consistency, the consistency was that they were outrageous. And whenever you saw something like an outrageous outfit like that, her face could be covered up and you pretty much knew that it was Lady Gaga. So there are ways to use extreme things for personal branding. So again, in personal branding with personal style, you want to remember the three R's. You want to be recognized, you want to be remembered, and you want to be revered. So you have to be really planful and honest and authentic about what you choose for your personal brand style. Think it through because style changes, fashion changes, and you're going to have to be consistent. So pay attention to what you're choosing to adopt for your personal style and do it consistently. If you choose to do it, you can do it you can benefit from personal branding with personal style. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit subscribe below so you can see my videos when they come out and visit me at philipvandusen.com slash muse and subscribe to my newsletter. It comes out every two weeks and I share an insight and resources and trends in graphic design and entrepreneurship. And with that, thanks again for watching. Bye for now.